What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to take a look at that Drake when to say when film look. Uh, you've requested it a lot. I absolutely love this song and since everybody has to stay at home, I was listening to this song the last couple of weeks. Um, absolutely enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the request as well. And usually this 16 millimeter film look is created with film cameras um, like the Bolex H16, which is a small film camera, but in this case, I think there's one point in the video where you can see the camera with which this film look is um, achieved. And it's a huge camera, and of course, I don't have this camera, and most of you don't have it either, but today I'm gonna show you how to recreate or at least imitate this look using your smartphone, the free Lightroom app, and a free app called Snapseed. I've created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website, the link is under this video. It's in that all presets pack, along with another Drake preset, Travis Scott preset, Gunner Stahl preset, and many, many more, over 75 presets. And I'm adding presets on a weekly basis to this pack, so once you have it, you're getting free updates every week. So it's a pretty nice deal, check it out. Link is under this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything you want me to do next, anything you want me to take a look at for you, um, just DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. I'm always open for conversation. I've just replied to all of your DMs, so I'm really looking into those and trying to reply as fast as I can. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do, of course, is um, take your smartphone and open that free Lightroom app and import the picture that you want to edit. In my case, it's an old picture of me um, in New York City, which comes um, super close to that Drake setting. Um, so it's perfect. And the first thing you wanna do is hit curve on the upper right. And now I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So as um, most of the time, pull up the shadows on the bottom left a little bit, and then just pull them right back down on the right side. And then towards the highlights on the upper right, just create another node and create that small curve towards the highlights a little bit and the highlights of course pull them down just um, really slightly and once you have this curve copied exactly as it is right here we are done and now we want to just pull down the exposure in this case a little bit to negative 0 0.556 right here that's perfect and the contrast we're going to pull that down to negative 21 the highlights all the way down to negative 100 and the shadows we want to boost them up to plus six right here and pull down the whites all the way to negative 100 and the blacks down to negative 40 49 right here so that's perfect for the light we go over to the color and what you want to do is just boost the temperature a little bit to plus 14 right here and pull down the tint to negative 7 and the saturation we want to pull that down all the way to negative 27 right here that's perfect we go up and hit the color mix tab on the upper right and for the red tones we don't want to change anything but the orange tones we just want to slightly pull up the luminance to plus 13 right here and the yellow tones we just want to pull down the luminance all the way to negative 31 in this case um, for all the other colored tones we're not going to change anything so we're done here and now we go over to the effects tab and what you want to do here is just pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 17 in this case and boost up that dehaze slider all the way to plus 57 in this case. And um, now we just wanna add those Drake, when to say when, split toning color tones right here. So we hit the split toning and for the highlights we pull over to a hue of around 170 that almost that blue area it's that blue green area and a saturation of 24 is perfect and for the shadows we want to pull over to a hue of 200 and 
around 265 right there and a saturation of 21 so it's 264 21 that's perfect as well and the balance we just want to push that towards the highlights a little bit to around plus five right here and that's perfect now i think we really nailed that blue purple um drake went to say when film look tone so we're done here and now to really give it that nice um, film look touch we want to blur it a little bit and add some grain but we're going to do that in a different app so we export this one to camera roll and it's saving the photo and now we go over to that free snapseed app right here and open the picture that we have just edited and hit tools down here and now you can see grainy film we hit that icon and um, now we just want to scroll on the screen where it says style strength pull that all the way to the left to zero and hit grain and boost that up a little bit to around plus 37 right here that is perfect hit the check mark and now hit tools again and now we want to blur the picture a little bit because in that film look it's always a little bit blurry so we hit tools and then lens blur on the bottom right and now what you want to do is use both fingers and just push in that inner circle so there's only one white circle and the blue circle now scroll on the screen go to vignette strength pull that all the way down to zero go to transition pull that all the way down to zero as well and now take that blue spot and pull it to the left bottom corner out of the picture scroll on the screen to where it says blur strength and then pull the blur strength down to around plus 12 and now it's a really nice soft grainy but also a little bit blurry picture comes super close to that film look so we hit the check mark and um, now it's now export it save a copy and now it is saved to our camera roll and now you could use this picture as it is already it's already um, really close to that real 16 millimeter Drake inspired film look but I've created a free pack for you that includes two frames to come even closer to that real film look um, it includes a 16 millimeter frame and a super 8 frame you might know the super 8 frame already and I want to show you how to insert that frame to really add that special artistic vibe um, to this picture so we Download the pack on the website, the link is under this video, and as I said, it's 100% free, so check that out. And once you've downloaded those two pictures, we go to the Over app. The app is also linked under this video, it's also free. And then we hit that plus sign, hit image, and now we want to import the image that we had just created. And now hit image on the bottom left once more, and now I want you to choose that frame that you've just downloaded from my website i think the super 8 looks a little better in this case so i chose this one but you can also choose the other one play around with it and now i want you to zoom in with both fingers to increase the size of that border and just pull it to the left side until it matches your picture perfectly um, right here is perfect and now you see on the right side it's missing you could either leave it as it is right here or you could also add it to the right side so hit the check mark and um, now hit image again choose that same frame once more and now we want to focus on the right border of this picture so we increase the size and pull it to the to the right side until till it fits the picture right here looks good I'd say so um, that's it we hit the check mark now and now we can just export on the upper right save and um, yeah now it should be saved to your camera roll and this is it here's a little before and after of that Drake inspired um, when to say when film look I think we came super close um, keeping in mind that we're only using the smartphone and three free apps 
Um, so I'm super happy with this result. I hope you are too. I hope you like this. This is good content and this really helps your Instagram game. Um, leave a like if this is a good video and maybe you haven't subscribed yet. So I'd be super grateful if you just hit the subscription button and um, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to not miss out on any of my future tutorials because I'm pumping these out on a daily or at least weekly basis. And if there's anything that you want me to take a look at for you, um, any picture, any special look that you're trying to create, but you just don't really know how, let me know. DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'll try to reply to every one of your DMs, or you could also always just comment under my video. I'll try to reply as fast as I can to that as well. Now, I've also created a preset on exactly this Drake look. It's on my website. The link is under this video. It's in that all presets pack along with over 75 presets. Uh, Travis Scott, another Drake, UFO361, Gunner Stall, and many, many more. So make sure to check that out because I'm also adding presets on a weekly basis and it will auto update once you have the pack already. So you will get presets for free on a weekly basis, which is a great deal, I think. Um, make sure to check it out. And I hope I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative, stay safe, stay home. See you. Peace.